Hello, Food A friends. This video is an in-depth overview and review of the Sonia G Sheer Buffer Brush. The brush was kindly gifted to me by Beautylish. A huge thank you to Beautylish and Sonia for sending me this brush to try. I tried to cover everything in this video that you might want to know about the Sheer Buffer if you were considering buying it. Please also check out Sonia's blog for more info and a behind the scenes look at the brush development. Sonia's blog is a treasure chest of information. The Sheer Buffer is a handcrafted stippling brush. Each brush is handmade by artisans in Japan using traditional techniques. It was released in the summer of 2023 and available exclusively at Beautylish, retailing for 65 US dollars. Sonia says she wanted a stippling brush that delivered a diffused application and was still effective buffing. The brush was designed specifically to have a lightweight diffused application and to be used with cream bronzers and other cream products. The stippling brush has two layers of bristles, a top layer and a bottom layer. It also has a mix of synthetic and natural hair bristles, which are Sokoho goat grade. The top layer bristles are synthetic, and the bottom layer is synthetic and natural bristles. The lower layer bristle length is 28 millimeters, and the full brush head bristle length at its longest point is 33 millimeters. Softness wise, it is Sokoho goat grade, but the goat is on the bottom layer and does not make as much contact with the skin. When using the brush, it is the synthetic top layer that makes the most contact. The synthetic bristles are soft and flexible, but it is not the same softness as a strand of goat hair because the synthetic bristles have more strength and durability. What makes this brush different from other stippling brushes? It is the hair mix and brush dimension selected by Sonia. The hair length, brush ferrule size, density, and the ratio between all of these factors is what differentiates this brush to allow it to perform the way it does. Let's get into the details of this. There is about a five millimeter difference in length between the top layer of the bristles and the bottom layer. This provides strength and control when using the brush. Compared to other brushes, for example, the Hakuhodo J4001, the Hair length at the longest point is 40 millimeters. The bottom layer is 28. The difference of 12 millimeters means that the results are very different. This brush is not good for buffing and there is little control as the brush splays out a lot. Another example is the Hakuhodo Holiday Collection brush from, I believe, 2015. The hair length is 20 millimeters at its longest point. The bottom layer is 16 millimeters. So while the difference here is only four millimeters, the ferrule is also smaller. This means that this brush has extreme control, but it's actually hard to blend with it because the brush is very directional. Product is stamped on in place and it can be difficult to spread out. I hope these examples help illustrate how important the interplay between the hair lengths and the hair mix affects the performance of these types of brushes. These factors make the sheer buffer different from other stippling brushes and other brushes in Sonia G's lineup. At the end of the video, I have more comparisons, which I hope help provide a better idea of the size of the sheer buffer. I have used a sheer buffer with a number of my favorite cream products and the brush works great. For example, I've been loving the Merit Cream Bronzer Stick all summer long and these two products are perfect to pair together because this bronzer is literally called the Sheer Sculpting Bronzer. It is intended to be a sheer application. I can apply the bronzer straight to my face or to the brush. Either way, the results are diffused and easy to blend. Really a great pairing of a product and a brush. I have also enjoyed this brush for cream blushes. The brush is really good with highly pigmented bright blushes because there is little risk of applying too much or having harsh blending that can lift makeup layers underneath. For example, 
I have this Melt Cream Blush in the shade Sandy Cheeks. This is a vivid color and a little bit of this product goes a very long way. With other brushes, I have to be careful not to over apply and to blend gradually because this product is incredibly pigmented. But with the sheer buffer, it is easy to pick up the right amount and easy to build up and blend. This is truly one of my most pigmented cream blushes and the sheer buffer brush has no problems giving me the results I am looking for. The same method can be applied to a pigmented liquid blush. For example, I've used it with the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, which are also very pigmented and a little goes a long way. What's special about this brush is that it can be trusted to blend even your most highly pigmented cream and liquid products with little risk of moving the bottom layers of makeup and disturbing your makeup underneath. Now we are at the comparisons part of the video. I looked everywhere in my collection to share with you the most similar brushes I have and I do not have a brush that is quite like this one. Sonia always finds innovative ways to give us something new, a new food aid tool to fill gaps in our collections. Here is the Sonia G Face One, or I believe it's now called the Buffer Pro. At a glance, these brushes have a similar shape and size, but of course they are completely different. The Face One is a buffer for powder products, and you can think of the sheer buffer as a buffer for cream products. The face one has 30 millimeter hair length with a ferrule width of about 20 millimeters. So it is a same size ferrule. However, the sheer buffer hair length is a little longer. Density wise, I would say they're about the same, but the synthetic bristles spread out a little bit more than the Face One brush. Next, I have the Sonia G Base One. This brush also has a mix of goat and synthetic bristles, and it is reminiscent of a stippling brush, but actually was marketed as a foundation brush. The size is um, similar, so the ferrule is thicker at 24 millimeters versus 20 and density wise, the base one is more dense with very little splaying of the bristles, largely because they are much shorter. The base one can be used with cream and liquid cheek products, but the results will be different as this brush is more directional and stronger in its application. Moving on, we have the Sonia G Classic Base from the Fusion series. This is a medium-sized cheek brush. It is smaller than the sheer buffer. The ferrule width is 18 millimeters, the hair length 27. These two brushes make a nice set together. The classic base is great for use with cream and liquid cheek products. It is smaller and more dense, and the sheer buffer would be for when you want a more diffused application. I think it would be nice to pair these two together. You can apply and blend with the classic base and then go over it on top for an even more diffused soft application. I will quickly show the two Hakuhodo brushes I mentioned earlier when describing how the sheer buffer brush was unique. Here is the Hakuhodo J4001. It is quite similar in feral size and the lower layer bristle length. The top layer bristle length of synthetic bristles is longer and prone to splaying out under very little pressure. It is not great for buffing and can be quite frustrating to use on the cheeks if you are trying to blend with it. I wouldn't recommend it for cheek products actually. I believe this is more for all over foundation or powder products. Here is the Hakuhodo Holiday Brush again. This style of stippling brush is more common in Fude, and Hakuhodo makes them in a number of different sizes. My final thoughts on the sheer buffer are that it is a great brush to use with cream cheek products. It is a nice tool to add to my collection, and I truly don't have anything quite like it. It is a unique addition to the Sonia G lineup. If you have a large Sonia G brush collection, I think you can still add the sheer buffer to your collection and enjoy this brush.
What makes this brush special is its ability to have a strong and controlled application to create diffused results even when working with very pigmented cream products. If you have this beautiful brush, please let me know how you are enjoying it. As always, thank you for watching and thank you again to Beautylish and Sonia for sending me this brush to try.